hi guys welcome back so today we will continue with uh, di module session okay in the last session we have seen uh, how we can compare to excel okay so using complete row by row comparison okay now um, so in the same uh, di series we will see a second scenario where uh, using the same complete row by row comparison module we will compare a database two database tables okay first scenario we uh, compared two excel file okay excel to excel now we uh, today we will compare uh, one one uh, database uh, table to another database table okay so this is my sql database and uh, here I have created two table. Okay, one is employee data, one is temp data. Okay, if I run this both queries, you will see. Okay, you will see in employee data uh, employee data table I have uh, ten rows of data, which is having four columns, and in second table temp data I have same four columns. Okay, and I have eight rows of data. Okay. First table 10 rows, second table 8 rows. Okay, and there are few differences we have in the cell values also. So we will see in the report. Okay, first we will see how we can design our test case. And uh, in one of my video, I have already shown how to connect with the SQL database. Okay, so I have already uh, done the ODBC setup for the SQL database. Just this is the SQL DB. I have done the setup for SQL Server. Okay, SQL database. You can uh, refer to to that SQL database uh, setup video in my channel. Okay. So let's quickly start. Now, what we will do? This is Excel to Excel comparison. Okay. I will just copy and I will paste here and we'll change db to db comparison okay and let me let me delete this and as well as this not required from target as well let me first delete this also and from target also delete this okay so we source we have source table as our employee data table and target table as temp data table okay so in the database we have option called dsn here dsn is nothing but a data source name okay so as i showed already here this is my dsn data source okay system data source if you click on configure we are providing here data source name which is sql db okay so this this name we have to provide sql db our dsn name so username password is not required okay suppose if you are using like oracle and all you might be needing um, user id and password and maybe you can directly use a connection string for the database connection okay but for my DB I have done the DSN setup okay or DBC setup so we can use directly the data source name DSN name and it's asking for SQL statement so I will just copy and paste from here Okay. Now, this is done from source. Okay. I don't want to use any other option here. Okay. Same way, we, I will copy here this query. And this is the same. Um, dsn name okay and query will be different okay so both queries i have 
the state select star from employee data select star from temp data because i want to compare the whole table data okay now this row key okay in row key we have option like enter your own semicolon separated so it's asking giving option either you can give any column names okay separated with comma or you can use all source column so if we mention all source column it will take the all the columns from the source table and then it will do the comparison okay so first of all uh, first we will try to give one column like employee id okay employee id and report option is same here like uh, how we gave in the last um, session on excel to excel comparison we'll leave as it is okay let me quickly run this our test case should get fail because uh, we have first uh, error we have row mismatched because here we have 10 rows here we have eight, row, eight rows so this will fail okay so now our test case is failed it is saying 10 row 10 source row processed 8 target row processed okay 7 rows matched 3 error count 1 row with differences 2 source row not found in target okay see it is saying source row cannot found in target that means this employee id 12001 12001 is not available in target okay that is correct and one more error it is saying for the employee id 12003 column employee name value ram and here it's ramesh okay for employee 12003 in source it is ram and in target it is ramesh okay so let's quickly check the report also so you know the path right in last session i told if you go inside tool data integrity report viewer and this is report folder Data integrity has opened. Let me drag and drop here. So, see here summary it is showing whatever queries we have given in source and target differences. You see here differences. It is saying source RAM and target it's RAM is with employee ID 12003. And it is saying this two rows in source only means this two rows. Uh, is only present in the source it's not present in the target okay it's very simple okay now we'll do one thing we'll change to we'll change to all source okay just check okay we'll see now f6 now also test case will get fail but there will be a slight uh, difference in the report if you will see okay see here 10 source row processed 8 target rows processed 7 rows matched 4 error found okay we will see directly from the report one second me drag and drop here four error found three source not found in target one target row not found in source okay so in the last when we use id based on the id it compared and it gave us a result like uh, two records are not in target and one record is there is a mismatch in the name okay but when we use all columns okay all source column it is giving in source only it is giving 
this employee one one two double zero two one two double zero one one two double zero three okay it's there in source this big since it is using all columns so it is putting constraint on all the all the cell values okay like Harris employee ID and uh, designation as SC and city is Hyderabad so it is comparing with all the report all the cell values if anyone is mismatching it is giving as failed and it is displaying in in source only same way for this RAM okay these two rows we don't have in target okay that is fine now this one we in employee name we have RAM okay which is available in source but other details are same as in target but it will show has failed and it will display here because we are not using only one uh, column for uh, comparison that is employee id we are using all the column that's why it has told i mean it has showed here like this row is present only in source if i move to target it will show one row which is showing ramesh which is not available in source let's see here and target it is showing ramesh and other details are correct even though it will display in target and in source because we are using all source row column okay that's why we are seeing this change in the result now let's do one more experiment here employee id okay employee id and we'll take one more column employee name if I take and run it will give us the same result when we used ID I think let's quickly drag and drop here okay so here it is giving three rows not found in target same same it is giving because we are putting constraint on employee name as well as id okay we will change to if i give only employee name just say only employee name what will be the result has failed let's see it's giving the same same result okay because it is saying see three source row not found in target three source row not found in target means we have put constraint on the name it will see her is available in target no Haris is available in target no Ram is available in target no that means three rows not found in target and when you go to the target Ramesh is available in source no see Ramesh is not available it is only in target okay summary also it will say one target row not found in source so like this you can play around uh, with this database uh, using that module you can try with different combination now i have a uh, fewer data available here only few data you can try with uh, um, with some table which is having uh, multiple uh, rows and multiple columns okay just for um, explaining purpose i have created a small table close this and the report viewer don't forget how to uh, view the reports okay so in the di series we completed to um, one module and uh, with that module we completed two scenario and with the same module we'll see few more scenarios one more scenario i will explain 
first one we did excel to excel second one is db to excel third scenario we will see how we can compare from db to excel or excel to db okay we'll see how we can compare excel to db comparison okay okay guys that's all for this scenario we'll meet again uh, with next scenario thank you bye bye